Hi YouTube, it's Lisa and it has been a very long time since I shot my last video which I think was in the month of October and I was planning to do a video but life got busy, the holidays came up amongst other things and so I hadn't had a chance to um, shoot a video in a while. So with that I want to say um, first Happy New Year, Happy 2014. Um, hopefully the year is off to a good start. It's the month of February now so Happy Black History Month and also Happy Valentine's Day because that is literally around the corner from when I am shooting this video. Um, since I last um, taped the video, I have made, um, have gotten three um, new items to my collection and I had also sold an item from my collection. Um, I ended up selling my Speedy 35 Domine E-Bean bag and uh, I was in debate first about selling it, but in reality, it stopped getting love. I really wasn't carrying it, and, and in fact, I probably can carry on my hand, count on my hand, um, how many times I did carry the bag. So um, I know I consulted with some of the ladies in the purse form, and they was like, um, "Well, don't sell it. You might, you know, you know, gain a love or appreciation for it." It's um, later on so I, I held out a little longer and I just said okay I'm gonna sell it and that may that is due to the fact that I carry my um, monogram Speedy 35 a lot um, the Speedy 30 in the Steve and Spouse collection as well as this other bag I'm gonna show you so it kinda knocked the Damier E. Bean out. Um, I sold it to one of the ladies in on the purse form and she um, got it and took off and really is enjoying it. So I'm, I'm happy that I was able to um, give it a new home where it will be um, highly used and appreciated. Um, but I want to um, share with you my latest three items that I have tamed within these past couple of months as well as do a mini haul. Um, I went on a ski trip this past weekend and I just want to share of um, some items I um, had purchased from um, this um, trip. So let's get started. Um, I wanted to treat myself for Christmas and I believe you know, if you're out there shopping for others for Christmas and you work hard and you pay your bills, you should also treat yourself. So I did treat myself with um, two items um, that I added to my collection as Christmas gifts to myself. So the first bag I got was the um, Never 4 GM Damier Azure. This is from um, Joy. Um... It's been through hell and back uh, within these few months. I got it towards the um, close to the end of November because Joy was really pushing us to um, get our orders in, you know, so we can have them safely arrive, you know, before the holidays kicked off. So I did get this towards the end of November. And the reason I say it's been through hell and back is because um, I had a situation where I went I went to a little um, social gathering and champagne got spilt on it. Um, it got spilt on the outside of the purse, which I really wasn't worried, but I was... You know, I was upset about it getting spilled inside the purse because I had flyers and items in there which closets, which caused um, the interior to, uh, the colors to um, bleed on the material. So I'm going to show you what happened. Um, it's actually like pink and purple stain inside um, due to some of the items that I... Um, had in there. I'm kind of upset, uh, but I guess I'm still carrying it um, because, yeah, it's, it's nothing wrong with the outer side. So I was able to wipe the outside off with cloths and baby wipes, but it's the inside. And I said, well, I guess I won't be selling this bag because it's staying the inside unless somebody was really desperate to get it. Um, I have also experienced some color transfer um, with some of the clothes I've been wearing onto the bag, but I was told you can wipe that down with baby wipes, which I have done. And I did take it out of town. I did um, go to Texas a couple of weeks ago, and um, she got roughed up at the airport. So I just made my mind up that this bag probably would never get sold, and that um, 
I'm going to keep it. But I do love it. Um, it's very roomy. It's very spacious. It's comfortable on my arms, which is a big plus because I like to stuff things. But I really have been um, enjoying this bag. And it's from Joy. So, Joy, thank you once again. And Joy gave me, um, you know, a, a little appreciation token. She gave me a ring. So, definitely appreciate it. Um, so, Joy, if you want to keep foreign over gifts, I can always use a um, key clave or a Louis Vuitton wallet if you come across anything. So, that's one item. The next item, which I love, 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 and like I said, this is probably the reason that my Damier um, EB and Speedy got sold. This is the Damier Azure Speedy 35 Bandler. I love this bag. These straps, straps are a lifesaver. Um, I find myself, I've been carrying this a lot um, to work, um, running errands, going out shopping. But this is the best thing that Louis Vuitton could ever do is put the um, straps on. Because um, when it was just the regular speedy, it, all you had was either your hand or your wrist. And that's it. But um, I, I'm enjoying the fact I have the option to put it on. Um, my arm and carry as a crossbody or just strictly on the shoulder. So this has been um, one of the bags I've been really rocking um, out of my new ones due to this. So this is the best thing. It makes me want to get a monogram in the near future in this as well. But i really been enjoying it. This also came from Joy. Um, I was going to make another purchase with Hank and I had um, air on AliExpress and I had every intention. And even I went, I was going through a, a transaction and um, something went wrong with my credit card. Um, they did not um, process the transaction and it was denied or rejected. And I knew I had the money on there and everything it was just i don't know due to fraud activity or whatever um it just did not go on um, the transaction did not go through so i end up getting this item from joy um the original plan with joy was to get it in the 40 but joy said um the 41 that she had was defective. She was waiting on the fact, uh, the factory to, um, you know, provide more. But um, she said you wouldn't been able to get it in Chris, um, in until after Christmas or cutting it close to Christmas. So I said, well, I didn't want to risk that. I'll go ahead and take the 35. But I really do um, enjoy this. I did get this way before Christmas, so I do appreciate this as, as well. Um, so this is another bag that I have obtained uh, right around as a Christmas gift to myself. Another bag that I had ended up getting had nothing to do with Christmas. I didn't even think I was going to get it. I said with those two bags I just showed you I was done. And lo and behold, um, I ended up getting a delightful M.M. And I got this pre-love from one of the ladies in the forum. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I started my videos. My very first uh, video was what is in my delightful PM. And I carried it for a little bit and I was like, hmm, I think I want to go a size up. And I seen, um, you know, YouTube videos about the life of GM and how spacious it was and comfortable. So I ended up getting the GM. Well, the GM was just extremely too big. It was um, hurtful on my shoulder. So I ended up selling the GM. And then I was just um, looking at some other YouTube videos of the MM. And I'm like, you know what? I probably should have got the MM from the very beginning. And I probably wouldn't have to make those two sales. But um, I like it as an everyday bag. I love the fact that it has, you know, started. It was already patina. And I think sometimes the pre-love route is the way to go because, um... You know, it's sometimes it's often oftentimes you get it. It's already patina. It's, it's it's broken in, and you know you don't have to worry about you know overseas shipping because nine times out of ten you're buying from um, women that live in the U U S. So I'm all for going the pre love route uh, with the bag. So um, this is a bag I've been you know carrying for work as well. So yeah. Um, on to my next um, item. This is not a Louis Vuitton item. Um, this is a Michael Kors crossbody bag that I had bought um, from Carson's. 
And I'm really loving this um, because um, I feel like you could dress this bag up or you can dress it down. Um, you could dress it up or you can dress it down. I use this for shopping. I use this for going out. It has um, credit card holders. It has credit card holders, and I feel like this is something when you don't want to carry a big bag, um, you can definitely um, use when you're out running errands or want to go out. So I like this Michael Kors bag. I don't know if I'm going to start a Michael Kors collection. Um, I don't know just yet, but I just came across this, and I really like it. In fact, I do want to get another one like this and maybe a brown color um, just because... You know, I just think these are really good. Um, I also like the Coach Swing Packs, but yeah, I'm really feeling this one. Um, this is only my second Michael Kors item. I do have a Michael Kors purse that I bought back in like May or June-ish, um, but I'm actually getting ready to sell this. It's actually on sale for now. Um, actually on sale now on eBay, um, just because I'm not liking how it fits on my shoulder. Um, and then I like to stuff my bags with a lot of stuff because I'd be on the go. So um, I only carry it twice. So if you're interested, um, send me a private message or um, and I can, you know, email you the link to the eBay site um, posting um, for the bag that I'm actually selling. So it's on sale now on eBay. So that's uh, where I'm at in terms of my, you know, latest to my Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Um, the next I want to do is a haul. I went on a ski trip this weekend, and part of the festivities was we did a, a travel to an outlet mall. I love outlet malls. Number one, I may get to go to an outlet mall maybe once or twice in a year, so I feel like it's always a treat um, when you go and you see some amazing deals. And I went... Um, I got a couple of clothes, like a couple of pairs of pants or shirts, but I don't believe in um, doing hauls for clothes. So my haul will just focus on accessories and shoes that I got. So, of course, they had a coach outlet. So I end up getting this little wristlet. Um, and I like these, especially like for work, um, because I don't like carrying. Uh, I eat in the cafeteria at work. Um, so sometimes I'm not in the mood of bringing uh, a big purse, um, bringing my purse down in the cafeteria. I just like to have cash and, you know, my phone and eat lunch when I'm not going out for lunch. So I just thought this was cute. It's around about Valentine's Day. So they really have heavily advertising items that are um, red, pink, and white. So this is I just thought this was cute with the little heart and it was only for um it was on sale for $23 because they did uh 50% off everything and an extra 65% off if it was a clearance item so I got this for like as low as $23 so I just thought that's great um normally this sum like this is worth $58 um, at a regular coach store or a Carson's or Macy's or other, you know, retails that sell coach merchandise. So this was a great sale. Less, it was less, um, cost less than half of the original price. The next item I got is the, um, Louis, uh, not Louis, I'm <laughs> sorry, coach, um, overnight tote. I like this because... This is uh, an overnight tote. I'm gonna take it out in a minute, but I like the fact of this bag. You can end up, you can use this bag as a cosmetic uh, case, which I think I might end up doing. Um, but I, a wallet, a purse. I just like this. I just like the fact of how this is set up. And then this is the tote. It just folds out. So if you, you know, spend a night somewhere or got to carry clothes or carry a number of items, um, this is the tote that comes with it. Um, this was actually on clearance. Um, I was able to get this for $53, and I know it's probably worth way more than that. I think the last, the first time they marked it down, it said $189. Uh, $189 dollars and I got this for fifty three dollars which is a hell of a deal. This right here um you can take it and it has snaps on the inside 
so you can snap this up if you decide you, you're starting the day out and you're having a bag inside the pouch and you're going to use the pouch you can snap it in and it's like a wallet so i just think this is great if i ever you know take a day trip somewhere or i do a one night overnight stay and just need like a little outfit um i don't know if i'm gonna use this as a gym bag probably not because um I just know how I act at the gym with the bags. I just toss it in a cubby hole and um and since it's winter time and there's snow involved, um, you know, people just throwing their stuff any type of way. So I don't foresee this being in the gym. But I just thought it I just thought it was great. My friend, she got one in yellow. She was excited because yellow is her favorite color. Um, I think they had purple. I wish they would have had it in a pink or a green, but they did not. So I thought this was the next best color because she really wanted yellow. Um, last but not least, um, they had the Ugg store outlet. Um, this is my first pair of Uggs. I have seen so many people wear Uggs and I just thought these were the cutest little things. They're short, um, cranberry color. They was on um, Outlet Mall. I think they were like $89, normally $180 and up. I wanted the longer boot, but they didn't have my size in this particular color. Um, and I wanted some Uggs. I had even put that on a Christmas wish, my Christmas wish list, but it did not happen. So, um... I was happy when I saw those and I was able to get it. And like I said, I obtained some other items like a couple pairs of jeans from Old Navy, which were as low as $6.49. A couple of tops, which were under $10. But, you know, I didn't want to waste film on showing all that. But it was a good time. I did get on the skis for the second time. I actually made it up a baby slope. And down you know so maybe as I could if I continue to go I'll build confidence and work my way up um, so I'm not sure what my next video is going to be. I do have a LV Sophie on the way that I'm pur I purchased from a member um, on the forum. So it's on the way. I probably would um, do a video once I get that. I'm not sure. I'm actually in the process of preparing to move. Um, so my next video may be in my new space. Once that happens, I'm just waiting on renovations.